Hi everyone, in this video we are going to design combined footing using Start Foundation. The installation procedure of this software can be seen on this video and its link is given in the description. In my previous video, we designed isolated footing by Excel sheet using ETAPS results. And we also compared the Excel sheet results with Start Foundation software. This time, we will design the combined footing for the residential project using ETEPS results. For foundation design, I always prefer this software because you can study the detailed calculation and verify the checks manually. Also, the software generates the details of foundation drawings, which is a very useful feature of this software. Sometimes, in a residential project, some columns are closely spaced so their foundation comes out to be a combined footing. For instance, as you can see, the floor and footing plan of a residential building, the foundation of some columns comes out to be combined since they are closely spaced. So let's design the footing for these two columns on Start Foundation software. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon so you can be notified on my next uploads. In order to design the footing of these two columns, so let's open the Start Foundation and click the new file. In order to locate the column dies, we need to click the foundation plan and from foundation plan we need to locate column positions. Since we are working in beauty system of units, so Change the units from unit setup. Now look at the columns. For first column, the coordinates will be 0, 0 and 0. As you can see, the dice of the first column is created. For second column, we need to see the distance between the two columns. For this, let's refer to the footing plan. So the distance between these two columns is 4 feet. So just write it. 0, 0 and 4. As you can see the dice for both columns is created. After creating the column position we need to assign the column dimension. In order to do so just click the column dimension and also mention the column size. In our case the column size is 0 0.75 feet by 1.5 feet. Similarly, for the second column, the size is 0 0.75 feet and 1.5 feet. Once you assign the column size, then we need to go and define the load factors. To do so, we need to click the load factors and create new load cases. So since we are designing the combined footing, so combined footing is mostly required for the structures which are low rise or ground plus two or three story building. So we don't consider the earthquake load. So we will be only defining dead load and live load cases as primary load cases. In order to define the primary load cases, we will just type DL which represents the dead load and from here loading type we will click that and then click add so we have created our first load case similarly we will create another load case which is the live load and choose live from loading type and click add as you can see these both, both load cases are empty in order to add column base reactions to these load cases we will refer to ETEPS software. In order to shorten the video time, I have already analyzed this model. So we are going to 
design the footing for these two columns. So first we need to know what is the label for this column. So this is 18 and this is 19. So we need to find the base reaction for these two columns. So in order to see the base reaction, click to the display, show tables, analysis, then results, then click reactions, then design reactions and press OK. So once we do so, since we need uh, the column reactions for joint 18 and 19, so just click these two columns and we need the dead load combinations of dead load and live loads. That's it. As you can see for joint 18 and 19, now we know the reactions. Now we will just copy these reactions to start pro. The easiest way is you open the two windows side by side so we can easily copy and paste the values from ETEPS to start pro. In order to insert the base reaction, and dead load case, right click and click add column reaction load. So here you can see the FX value for dead load for joint 18 is 1.6. Just copy it and paste it here. Similarly, the FY and FZ value has to be inserted interchangeably in start pro because of change in global coordinates as you can see this picture so the value of f5 is to be inserted in fz and similarly a value of fz is to be inserted in fy with opposite sign similarly we will add the moment values click add now we have added the dead load for first column. Similarly, we need to add the dead load for second column. So again, copy the values and paste it the way we have done for first column. So we have successfully added the base reaction for two columns. After assigning the values in load cases, now we will generate the load combinations. In order to generate the load combination, click generate load combination. Okay, this will bring you to this dialog box from where you can choose the building code which you want to work. So for instance, we are using AAC 710 and then gen click generate load combinations. So this will generate the load combinations for service loads. Similarly, do the same in order to generate the load combinations for ultimate loads. As you can see, the load combinations are generated. After generating the load combination, then click job setup and create new job and assign a job name. So for instance, we are designing a combined footing, so just assign combined footing. job type is combined and keep the rest of the things by default now bring all the available load cases to the select load cases by clicking this icon select dead load and live load and put it back to the available load cases once we do so then click create job now we need to create a visual strip between these two columns in order to tell the software that we are going to design a combined footing to do so select the two column dices and click create from selected nodes so as you can see the visual strip is generated after that go to the combined footing then design parameter select concrete cover and reinforcement so we know the unit weight of concrete is 150 minimum spacing bar spacing 
is 4 and the maximum bar spacing should be should not be more than 12 inches you can change these parameter according to your choice like minimum should be 4 maximum should be 6 similarly 4 do the same for the top reinforcement and 3 and 6 now come to the cover and soil so pedestal cover is 2 inch this is ok footing clear cover is 2 inch this is also ok unit weight of the soil basically this parameter is to be given to you from geotechnical investigation report so for our case we are just assuming 110 pound per feet cube soil bearing capacity is 4 and depth of soil above the footing we are just assuming 36 inches and keep the rest of things by default after doing so click to this design button and click yes and you will see how quickly we have designed the combined footing for our required columns okay you can also check the calculations and you can also verify the checks in one way shear or two way shear or in bending so these are the stability checks for example for punching shear our footing is okay similarly for column 2 it is also okay in punching shear similarly in one way shear it is also fine okay this is moment diagram you can also draw it by yourself by just drawing a free body diagram a simple strip having two point loads and the magnitude of point loads you know and then just draw the bending moment diagram and you can also verify the values the best feature of this software which I like the most is detailing as you can see the cross-sectional elevation plan and reinforcement cage view is is automatically drawn by this software which is the best feature you can also export uh, this drawing to AutoCAD by just clicking on save drawing as and just save it at any location of your choice now for our case the required design is is left and overhang right and overhang total length of the footing is 10 feet width of the footing is 5 feet and thickness of the footing is 1 feet main steel in X and Y is the same which is 7 number 4 bar similarly for the top reinforcement or secondary steel is 13 number 4 bar so guys this brings to the end of today's tutorial if you find this tutorial useful please do like and share and if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section for more updates please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can be notified on my next uploads thank you and have a nice day